have a proclamation. Ooh. Welcome to the board. INFJs, you know this place well. I am not an INFJ, but I thought I might be a little ballsy and uh, run into this environment and articulate some thoughts of my own. Yes, it is dangerous, and you may gut me for it. But I thought, hey, might as well share some input. So the void. Um, whenever you find yourself wanting to articulate something that is impactful, meaningful, and you've been slaving over it for months, and you now proclaim this inevitable, proclaim this amazing fact that you have been, like, you, you have every ins and out, and you share it with the world, and no one gives a beep! And you're like, there's the void. There it is again and again. And no one cares about what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to share. And they don't understand the problems in their own self. And I have embodied this so rich and deep. And no one seems to give a crap. INFJs, you are incredible individuals. But this is something I must share with you. The reason why the void happens, and now there, there are probably other different types of voids, and I'm not even going to pretend to understand the, the depths of what you guys feel. However, this one point, this one part, if you have gone into the depths of a topic, either that you have created on your own or you have researched on your, with yourself, by yourself, um, whatever topic that may be, you cannot expect people to immediately be there emotionally with you when you when you first articulate the proclamation that you have regarding this topic whether it be um, basically needing to change the hearts of men or you have a project that is just fueled with just outrageous passion and justice and glory and you're expecting people to charge along with you because you are there doggone it but Instead, you get an awkward stare. People kind of brush it off and like, that was kind of weird. And then you walk away. And then you get angry. You're like, why is the world so against me? They are full of fu fuels, fuels, fools, and um, ignorant people, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but the thing is, INTP, I'm sorry. I, I get so used to talking to INTPs. INFJs. Lead us, get a little grip. Lead us <laughs> to the place that you're at. Now you can't take us through months because you don't have that time. But what you can do is to lead us through this and allow us to see the impeccable amazement that you see. You have to give us the cream of the crop, but allow it to be enough to draw us in. We want to be a part of it. We want to, we want to sense the passion that you're in. But you have to communicate knowing that we are not there with you at the first sign of the trumpet. We need to know what the heck you're talking about. We need to be inspired, really. Allow us to invest with you, either during the process or when you are at the end of the process and you're needing to try to figure out to get people on board, um, allow them to uh, just entice them of the idea rather than just kind of pulling it out out there and expecting the people to be like, oh, hallelujah, that's what we've been waiting for this whole time and then charge after it. It's just, it doesn't, humanity doesn't work like that. Now, to other INFJs, you might be able to <laughs> work, at, work that out. But actually, I think there are other, I, there, sorry, there are other personality types that fuel off of that, like just that outrageous ambition and passion. And they will charge after that. And they don't even know what they're what you're even talking about, and they're just trusting you along the way. Great. As a slim, that's a slim amount of people, unfortunately. The rest of us, we want to be there. I, as an INTP, want to be there. But then, you got to give me a second to like explain some things. I want to hear you out. I want to hear well, what is this? Like, explain to me. Um, I want to hear your heart about it. Um, inspire me, for goodness sake. And that will be a good first start to stepping away from the void. I'll see you guys in another video in another life. You never know, but you might.